Hello, welcome to Bee Movie Beauty. Today we're going to be making an exfoliating coffee soap with ingredients sourced from a local coffee shop here in Racine, Wisconsin. Normally I mix my lye with water, but for this batch of soap I'm mixing it with some coffee that I purchased from Davino Gelato Cafe in Racine. This is going to give my base soap the start of a nice coffee color and it also adds a little caffeine into the mix to get you moving in the morning. If you've watched my previous videos, you know that I'm struggling with temperatures in my frigid soap dungeon. So from now until the temperatures in Wisconsin go above freezing, I'm just expecting to hit false trace and blending past it. Most of my batches because of this are going to medium trace, just so I can be sure that they're blended and not separating. And because of that, I'm not doing any fancy swirls until spring hits. I'm adding a mix of Satin Penny Bronze and Steelworks Silver Mica from Mad Micas to darken the color a little bit more. And since I'm not doing any fancy swirls and want to get to a thick trace, before I pour, I'm adding the fragrance oil at the same time. The coffee smell from using coffee instead of water won't survive saponification, so I'm using fresh brewed coffee fragrance oil from Crafter's Choice. Now this fragrance oil does have vanillin in it and I'm not using a color stabilizer so this will turn the soap an even darker coffee brown as it cures. Davino's was also gracious enough to provide me with some of their spent espresso grounds which I dried in a warm oven for several hours before adding them to the batter at Thick Trace. When adding exfoliants, you always want your batter to be at at least a medium tray so the exfoliants won't sink to the bottom. I wanted it to be thick, but this is ridiculous. I've been banging it on the floor to try and get the bubbles out, but this is so thick, I'm not sure there's any hope. To color the piping batter, I used just a tiny bit of the mica mix, the little bit I hadn't scraped out of the cup, to give it a nice light coffee color. And there's no fragrance in this because I wanted it to look like coffee foam, so I don't want it to darken from the vanillin. Now I would intended to pipe this at a loose consistency so it would look like mounds of foam on coffee, but I looked away from my batter for a minute and it stiffened up while I wasn't paying attention. I'm using one of my favorite Russian ball piping tips and of course you can find the link to that in the description box below. To finish off the soap, I'm sprinkling some of the dried espresso grounds on the top. It kind of looks like cocoa powder, don't you think? And 
and lastly a spritz of 99% isopropyl alcohol to set the grounds in place. About 18 hours after I made this soap, it didn't want to come out of the mold, but the soap and I had a little talk and it came out of the mold anyway. Because it was a little soft though, I let it sit and I shouldn't have because in that time it hardened up enough that it was really hard to cut. That's the last time I let soap be the boss of me. You can see in the cut that there are a few spots where the espresso grounds clump together and I blame the super thick trace for that. There's also some bubbling along the side of the mold that I didn't get banged out. I blame the thick trace for that too. Overall though, it's a great soap. It smells heavenly, just like my favorite coffee shop, which in case you missed it, is Divino's Gelato Cafe in Racine. As always, if you want to try making this soap on your own, the links to everything I used are in the description box. If you're not into making your own soap and just like watching the videos, these soaps will be available the last week in April at Nailed It in downtown Racine, Wisconsin and on our web store at bmoviebeauty.com. Be sure to like us on Facebook to stay up to date with new products and releases and if you liked watching this video, give me a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button so you can see more of them in the future. Thanks for watching B-Movie Beauty, where we drink so much coffee, it's scary.